This is Troyan, a small town located at the north side of the Stara Planina mountains in Bulgaria. You can visit our blog post for more information about Troyan. We start our trip in Troyan and its region from the center of the city. This is the central square called Vazraždane, which means revival. This is the Konak, a beautiful house in old traditional architectural style. And this is the Museum of the Folklore, Arts and Crafts, the largest and most important museum in Troyan. The first thing we see in the first hall is a model of an old street in Troyan. This is how the city looked like about 150 years ago. And this is one of the pottery house. These are potteries from ancient times. The pottery is one of the best presented crafts in Troyan and it has been developed in various styles and forms. Now we go to the second floor. Here we see other crafts, wood carving and woodworks, metal works. This is a model of a typical room from more than a century ago. And this is a model of an old living room. These are the traditional clothes of the people in the past here. Now we are out of the museum building and there is more to see outside. This is one of the most beautiful parts of the city, the river bank of Belly Awesome or White Awesome River. This is the forest park Turlata, the most beautiful park in Troyan. It is not just a place covered by lush forests, but also this is the best place to see the city from above. The park is a great place to relax and we go to enjoy the well-designed playground with its main attraction, the rope trolley. This is the eco-village Azarea, the place where we will spend the night. It has a unique design with its round bungalows surrounded by a lot of green.
On the next day we go to the most iconic point of interest in Troyan. This is the Troyan Monastery, the third largest monastery in Bulgaria. It is rainy, but the weather gives a special beauty to the place and everything is cool and fresh. This is the main yard of the monastery, with the big church and the tower surrounded by the main monastery buildings. The Troyan monastery is established at the end of the 16th century and started to grow quickly despite the partial destruction by the Ottoman Turks. The Troyan monastery was an important place for the struggle for independence from the Ottoman Empire. The church is richly decorated by Christian Orthodox murals and this is how it looks inside. Vasil Levski, one of the main national heroes of Bulgaria, lived in the monastery in this small room, now a part of the monastery museum. We visit the dining room for the monks in the monastery. Our next stop is the National Exhibition of Crafts and Arts in the village of Oreshak. It has several halls that exhibit various crafts from the region of Troyan. The craft pieces were made in modern times by local artists and the most interesting part is the demonstration of how to make pottery. This lady is a master artist and a teacher in this craft. Вече сме пробили и сме направили основата и сега вече трябва да почнем да да изнасяме глината нагоре. Да, винаги трябва да има вода, за да може да се плъзгат лесно ръцете. Иначе залепва да се задъмната и още не се получава. We go to Gumoshnik, a village located about 20 km northeast of Troyan. The main place of interest here 
is an old church, a so-called cell school and a cemetery. The first tombs belong to local soldiers that died in the wars for Bulgaria. And this tomb is of particular interest. It belongs to local people who traveled by Titanic and drowned with the ship. Now we enter the church. It is called Saint Nicholas Letni or Nicholas the Summers. It is full of painted and carved stories from the Bible. This is the cell school. We enter the main classroom. As you can see, the students used sand to learn to write and read. Now we go to another place of interest in Gumošnik. This is the so-called clay house. Inside the clay house is like a museum. Here we can see how the old houses looked like in the past. And you can even spend the night here and feel like you are on a trip back in time. This is Lopushnica Falls. Although this waterfall is only 8 meters high, it has a beautiful river pond. It can be easily reached from the village of Kaleica. This is Sostra Fortress. It is built by the Romans to serve for the ancient road that connects the south and the north of the modern-day Bulgaria. This is our last destination in the region of Trojan, Sopot Dam Lake, the fourth largest dam lake in Bulgaria. The lake is a nice place to play with kayak or water wheels. Subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon for more video journeys.